All you have to do is take one look to your left, one look to your right, and you see this is this isn't just about Maine. This nope. isn't just about New England. It's about America. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Looks like it's go time for Jocko. So what we're doing up here in Montana is where are we headed this time? Man, we're going to Big Sky, Bozeman, then Big Sky, Montana. So trying to mix some pleasure with work, get on my snowboard, which I haven't been on in I don't know better part of a decade because I abandoned all my activities. When I started Origin, I got rid of all like snowmobiles and stopped snowboarding. I knew that the distraction would uh, keep me from doing what I needed to do, so I exported them from my life, and I've reintroduced everything into my life this year. So <laughs> Jocko called me up, he's like, "So you like a what level? What level snowboarder are you?" And I'm like, "I don't know, man." I said, "He's like, are you a black belt?" And I was like, "I mean, I grew up snowboarding. I mean, in Maine." He's like, "Well, like a brown belt." And I'm like, ah, I mean, I don't know. He's like, like a high level purple belt. <laughs> I'm like, sure. I'm like, I guess I'm a high level purple belt. I, I just called him last night. I was like, hey, bro, just so you know, we've got a one way ticket, and we we may not leave your place, you know, by the by the twentieth. So he's like, just stay as long as you want. And I was like, cool. It's gonna be fun though. I mean, it's freaking long, long ass year 2020 was, and just kind of being locked down. Like, all done with that. Got shit to do. So. You're, you're better off with an indirect approach. You're better off not smacking the person in the face with whatever it is you're trying to adjust them on because they're gonna get offended by it, they're gonna get defensive, and now he's gonna be actually mad at you, he's gonna be madder at the team, and it's not, not what we want, it's not what we want. So that indirect approach, that relationship building, I mean, it is, it is bad. The, the, like the worst part of this is I feel like our, you know, your relationship with the boss is not what it needs to be. I just saw somebody drive by with a four wheel with a plow. Right there, look. That's all <laughs> I'm not sure if he's plowing or riding. <laughs> Draco said, uh, called me last night, like, bro, he's like, I've got cold cuts in bread. And I'm like, I'll pick up the steakums. <laughs> hey, you know, we do what we do as business is business. I said, cool. The next day, literally, we started cutting down trees. We had a bunch of pines sawn out, like the big 10 by 10 timbers, 27 feet long. We built like a, a barn type of factory. Business is business. Guys, we're cutting down trees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is some sack. Jocko here? Yeah. He is. I don't know if he's on echelon front, but I don't want to interrupt him. We're here. Let me know when you're off your meeting. I don't want to interrupt. So what we're doing up here in Montana is we've got a we got a potential partner group that we could we could end up working with. There's a lot of synergy there. Massive amount of potential. One of the things that I always believe is you're stronger together, right? If you're if you got different teams, different groups, if you're un unified, you're going to be stronger. So this could be an opportunity for us to get stronger quickly. Figure out if we're we've got the right alignment. Figure out if we're working on the same frequency. If we can be in lockstep, you know, risk reward. You know, weighing out the risk reward that scenario with something like this. But yeah, that's that's the main reason why we all came up here. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see wish what happens. We, wish we could talk about it more, but we can't. <laughs> Check out this kid out. What up? Who wears that?
Holy shit, it's been a long time since I've been on a mountain. Let's go. Those will be optional for you, I guess. Or not. Blades, dude, come on. They're pretty open. We can assess them when we get there. Okay. Them apples. Yep. We've been getting a lot of calls. We've been getting a lot of solicitation from different folks, investors, people who are watching what we're doing, and, and it's across like the categories of footwear, apparel, combat sports, nutrition. It's really across all categories. It's so different and so awesome you just can't ignore it. Picking and choosing our pathway to success and who to align with, like that's the that's the trickiest part. You know, making sure, because we have such a good working relationship, making sure that whoever or whatever we inject into that works. Here's the ad spot. I woke up at two o'clock in the morning. So you can you can shoot it down if you want or change it, but it'll get, the, it'll get it flowing. All right. So this is your whole voiceover. Then I'll explain to you what the visuals look like after this. <clears throat> the snow, the surf. He's clearing his throat before, like, <clears> he <throat> starts to read. He's going to jog over there. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> Ready? All right. The snow, the surf, the mats, the sands. Now, here's the visuals, okay, before you critique it. The idea is, listen, don't laugh, don't laugh. The idea is this. I want to show. I want to show the first. The first section. The snow, surf, mat, sand. So we're showing. We're showing. Listen, no, it's not funny. It's not funny. Listen, what is he laughing at? What do you think, Ty? Is good, right? Right at the end. I can see this. I can see the visuals of this. I know it sounds. It sounds lame when I read it, but if you can picture the visuals and put words against them, it could be good. <laughs> What are you laughing at, dude? No one ever told me you're not supposed to laugh at people in a creative session. <laughs> I don't I know. I don't even know what a creative session. What does that even mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. Think about the visual of that. He hates it. I'm okay with that. About to do a little EF online, which means I get to crack one open. Get some. Favorite part of the day. This is my favorite part of the day. No, no. Ah. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> the way that you have to fight a war is you have to look for opportunities to move forward. And, and sometimes those opportunities, they're going to look like a position to move forward, but it was a, it was a setup by the enemy. It was, it was a, they were trying to lure you in, it didn't work, or they actually had a bunch of barricades there that you couldn't see, or they had troops that were camouflaged. But you have to be trying to move forward. And, and sometimes you do have to tactically retreat, that's okay. But once you tactically retreat, you gotta assess that battlefield, and you gotta look, okay, how do we go forward? Then you also have to look around the battlefield, and you gotta say, who else needs, to, who else is trying to move where we're, we're moving? Who else is trying to do that? And when you see someone that's trying to fight the same enemy, that's trying to take the same ground, that's the trying to ground. same, trying to get that high ground, then you look at them and you say, hey, do you want, do you want help? Or can you help me? Can we do this together? And if you can make that deal and you can shake hands and you can move forward, if we get to the finish line and we look around and say, yeah, this is what we did. Now we don't have to fight each other. We can just continue to move forward. And so, I think that's a that's kind of where we're at right now looking around the battlefield seeing people that have the same values that want to move to the high ground and that's what we're going to do
Are you not gonna move around, Ty? You're just gonna leave it sitting there? You, you wanna move around a little bit? I just handhold it, just handhold it. Yeah. I've got tones of coconuts. I've got tones of coconut. Tones? Oh yeah. I hear a slight ringing of pineapple and... Fruity, fruitiness. I feel some fruit coming <laughs> through, some fruit. What's up with your boy over here? Should happen. <laughs> this, this, should happen. This, is, this is America. Yeah. Everywhere. Yep. And I just, I'm stoked that you, you know, like get to see that. I'm not saying you didn't, but, or you haven't, but for me, I'm lucky because I, I travel all over the country, you know, before COVID, work with all kinds of different companies, work with construction guys, engineers, linemen, farmers, agriculturists, cattle people. And of course, also finance and, and insurance and manufacturing, work with all these different companies all over this country. And they're all working, they're all working. It's hard for us to not think of Maine and think of New England first, because that's where we're from. But it doesn't, all you have to do is take one look to your left, one look to your right, and you see this, is, this isn't just about Maine, this isn't just about New England, it's about America, 100%. 100%.